Sky 4 is often first on scene, offering us views of accidents, fires, or police situations that no ground crews would be able to get. I'll pan back and show you what is happening. If you can avoid this area, that is your best bet this morning. That voice you hear from the chopper is Sam Hall, Sky 4 photojournalist and reporter who also sometimes fills in on morning traffic. 18 years I've been involved in one way or another with Sky 4. To answer part one of your question, Michael. I am not the pilot. Sam works with the pilot, who is currently Captain Ricardo, to bring us the pictures and video that allow us a vantage point like no other for breaking news and traffic. So this is basically the control of the camera, the focus, the zoom, the light, uh, the roll, the pitch. Here is the monitors that uh, would be what we are looking at from the camera standpoint. Uh, and what we're getting sent to back to the station. WTAE has had this Sky 4 chopper for about eight years now. The cool thing about this camera is it's inside this case. But that Cineflex camera is even newer, and it is incredible. One of my favorite shots is the moon. So I am able to kind of half double zoom onto the moon and get just incredible, incredible detail of the kind of surface of the moon. He went up in the chopper for part of our interview to show us an example. So we really had an accident going on the McKees Rocks Bridge right now. We could from downtown really tell you exactly what you're talking about in terms of lane restrictions, directions, and how bad the backups are. That bridge was about four miles away from where the chopper was flying. I went up in Sky 4 with Sam for a first-hand demo to see how they do it. One thing Sam and I agree on, most people would be shocked at how close different towns and landmarks really are when there's no bridge or tunnel involved. I've been doing this in a long, long time, and I still find it stunning how, uh, w how quickly we can get from one place to another, and it's not necessarily because we're going fast. Sam says they average about 100 miles an hour. So you may wonder, what does a typical day look like for Sam and Captain Ricardo? Wait for the call. And, uh, you know, sometimes the call turns out to be uh, ho-hum. Sometimes it turns out to be the story of the day or maybe even all week long. So it's, uh, you know, you never know when that call is going to come. And, yes, yeah, the huge part of the job is waiting and patience and, uh, and kind of, knowing that uh, you can be called on at any minute. To answer another part of Michael's question, no. Sky 4 does not land at our station. We flew over it to show you there's no landing pad here. Its home is the Allegheny County Airport in West Mifflin. Sam says they can be up and running within 15 minutes of getting a call, which is why their perspective becomes invaluable, not just for the speed, but oftentimes because our ground crews are kept back. When reporters on the ground uh, are being held back from a scene, we can get a great shot of what they are talking about and trying to explain to the viewer. I think that the production team at WTAE does an amazing job of kind of combining those two things. Somebody who's down on the ground who knows what's happening, they can't get a look at it because they're being kept back. And uh, the ability to use Sky 4 to give you that shot is fantastic. I mean, truly invaluable is the best word I can come up with. And Michael Murray also asked me, do we have two choppers just in case one goes down for maintenance? And no, we just have the one that you saw. And it does require maintenance occasionally, but it's usually never down for more than a few days. But great question. We love our Sky 4 crew, so it was nice to get to highlight them today. If there's a question I can answer for you, let me know. You can leave me a voice message at the number on your screen, 412-244-4610. Or you can jump straight in, send me a video message. You can share that with me in a Facebook message or by emailing askkelly at hearst.com.